Welcome everyone. A customer of mine wanted to do a complete wash method. Um, and what I mean by that is pre-rinse, foam, contact wash, full rinse, and then dry. However, one catch, or maybe two. No electric, no water hookup whatsoever. He's not a fan of rinseless washes, um, waterless washes, anything like ONR or chemicals like that. Um, he wanted to do the full routine, but his vehicle is out in a parking lot and it's far away from the apartment complex. This would work for those who have a car parked in a garage that's far away from living quarters. So if you can't get electric there, you can't get a hose there, what can you do? Can you still do a complete wash? Well, absolutely. This is what I put together for him. So I thought I'd share it with you. Let's take a look. Okay, so the setup he is going to start with is the IK Foam 9 Foamer, a bucket with three or four or five quality wash mitts, and then the HydroShot works to start with, and then you just need a bucket full of water for the rinse. Then eventually he can graduate to the Sunjo SPX 6000 CXR Ion Cordless. If by chance you can get at least a power cord there, you can use the Krauss and Becker, which I have quite a few videos on. That makes an excellent uh, tool to rinse off, do a pre-rinse. Okay, this thing is absolutely filthy. It's dirty. It has a lot of grit from treated roadways from the wintertime. We're going to get this thing squeaky clean with no electric and no water hookup whatsoever. Now, although I have two different rinseless washes that I absolutely trust in from two different companies, there are a lot out there that don't trust in them, don't believe in them, don't like them. So this is a method that uh, can be an alternative to them. Although this is going to cut down on mooring by a significant uh, percentage, this is going to take a little bit longer than if you had a water hookup. All right, for the Works Hydro Shot here, a bucket, maybe two buckets of water to use for rinsing purposes because I'm going to use this as a pre-rinse. It's not the most powerful thing in the world, but it is effective at a little bit of mud, some grit, loose dirt. The bottom of this vehicle has cinders and grittiness from treated roadways in the wintertime. And by the way, you can get different nozzles for the end of this. It is actually a little bit more powerful if you put the longer wand on it as well. Uh, but if you have the Sun Joe, you're going to get a little bit more power. And if you can get electric out there and you purchase the Krauss and Becker, you're going to have a ton of pressure to blow that crap off the side of your car, wheels, wheel wells, and you'd be ready to go for the contact wash. Okay, so we didn't even foam it yet and we knocked a lot of that loose grit and mud and cinders off of there with no electric, no water hook, hookup. We just used the Works Hydro Shot. Before I do anything to the paint work, I want to get the wheels and wheel wells done. And I mean, you could do that Either this way, just grabbing a an older microfiber and have, having a separate bucket, and then go over the wheels and then rinse them with the uh, Works Hydro Shot. Or if you have a fully stocked bucket for wheels and tires, go ahead and use that. Grab the wheel wells. You can then use your wheel woolies to get inside uh, between the spokes, get the barrel. You can use a detail brush to get the face of the wheel and around the lug nuts. And then go ahead and rinse with the Hydra Shot. Again, all this done without any power and no water hookup whatsoever. I just purchased the Hydro Shot here by itself. You can get it with kits and a whole bunch of different attachments. Of course, then the, the price of the kit goes up way up over a hundred bucks, but you can go and purchase different nozzles for with different spraying angles. I would just get the unit by itself and then use the money to buy a second battery and maybe even a second charger if you have to. 
and keep them both fully charged and ready to go for your wash. Okay, as I mentioned, this is going to be a full wash routine. So next, we're going to foam it. Angel Wax, Angel Wash. I have one ounce in one of these IK foamers. Like I said, you could purchase the larger one that I have, or they have smaller pump sprayers. And you can foam either the whole vehicle if you're in a shaded area, or if it's overcast, it's not breezy, or you could pull it underneath a pavilion. If not, just foam a section at a time. A roof, and then the window, and then the hood. A section at a time, and then rinse, and then move on. I'm sheltered here, so I'm going to go ahead and show you the whole routine. Um, not one panel at a time. I'm going to foam the whole car and then rinse it. Then I'll wash the whole car and then rinse it. And this just demonstrates that the IK foamer can handle foaming the whole vehicle very easily, very quickly. It actually works out perfectly. By the time you get all the way around the car, uh, the foam has dwelled for six, seven, eight minutes. And it's perfect timing to grab the works and, and give it a good thorough rinse. Okay, the whole thing has been foamed. Um, I just finished going around the back and as you can see where I started in the front it's been there for a couple minutes it's ready to be rinsed for those um, new to the channel or for some of my customers watching what the foaming does here as a pre-wash it lifts and encapsulate a lot of the loose gritty dirt so it can be rinsed free so that way when we, when we go ahead and do the contact wash that grittiness does not get caught between the surface of the car and the wash mitt and that's what causes the marring and scratching on the surface that you see when you're, you know, at the perfect angle with the sun out. So as you can see here with the Works Hydra Shot, you can't be in a huge hurry, but it can be done. If you have something like the Sun Joe, that'll make it a little bit quicker. If you can get power, it can, you, you can use the, the Krauss and Becker. You're going to get done even quicker yet. Okay guys, we haven't even touched the surface of the car yet, and if you don't touch it, you can't swirl it. So, as you can see here, it, there's a huge difference. We have a lot of the dirt, a lot of the loose grit off of the car, and now we can move on to the contact wash and feel a lot better that the percentage of us marring the car is greatly decreased. In fact, the dirt we have left on the surface of the car is bonded and needs to be removed by a contact wash. I myself use three quality mitts, including the 10 by 10 Cyclone. You can use three, four, five, whatever floats your boat. Now, if you are in sunlight, if you're out in the open, if it's breezy, just do one little section at a time. Do the hood, rinse, do the windshield, rinse, do the roof, rinse, and so on. You can even wash, then rinse, and then dry that small area that you did. You just have to watch out that you don't get it wet again. Uh, if you do, you just have to dry it with a microfiber drying towel to keep the water spots off of it. And uh, just be careful, but that's one method you can use. For me, the 10 by 10 is ideal for doing a section to section wash when i need more wash solution all i do is squeeze it the darn thing holds a gallon of water and wash solution when it comes to drying i use a cordless leaf blower and then follow up with any water droplets with a microfiber drying towel or you just use the microfiber drying towel by itself
So once you get into a rhythm, you can do the section by section rather quickly and get around the car in some good time. So absolutely, a full wash routine, pre-rinse, foam, contact wash, thorough rinse at the end is possible with no electric, no water hookup whatsoever, and definitely another method for those of you not a fan of waterless or rinseless washes. And this thing turned out just as squeaky clean had I used an electric power washer, gas power washer, and all the full accoutrements that I would have used being in a shop environment. Okay, so when it comes to pricing on some of the equipment in the video today, the IK Foamer, the larger one that I have, is 90 some dollars. You can get some of the smaller pump sprayers. When it comes to the Sun Joe, you're talking 260. Uh, when it comes to the HydroShot Works, uh, $80 by itself. But, however, get the larger batteries that you can get for that. Get two of them, have them both charged and ready to go. You'll be in good shape. And then when it comes to the Krauss and Becker, uh, $169. And that's only if you can stretch a couple cords out and give yourself some electric out on your, uh, wherever you're washing your car. So if you have any questions at all, don't hesitate. Brian from Apex Detail, catch you in the next video.